Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the next episode of my Requiem 3 Tweaks Dead is Dead Let's Play series. So we made it back home here in the last episode. Got some things to do over here in Windhelm. And uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it. I actually remember to start my timer this time. Still probably going to have a lengthy episode as usual. Oh, hello horse. Why are you running off again? Okay, uh... Actually, you know what? While I'm here, there are some bandits Tolver was telling me about that were giving him a hard time right up the road over here. Actually, if you... I don't know why the... why Frost is wanting to run back. Ooh, I should have done some testing to see if the... stupid... fearless and steadfast enemies was still having an issue. I wonder if it has anything to do with me playing multiple characters. And then I think... Oh, I think I have it turned off on all those characters too, though. So I don't know. Not sure on that one. Oh yeah, I should probably save because I realized that I did not save after I made it back to my house in the last episode. Luckily I saved after I uh, took the carriage to Windhelm, so I didn't have but just to walk back to my house and sleep to redo, but just in case. Okay, sometimes there will be a mage in here. I probably should have eaten some food first. Would have been smart. Um... Take one out. She had a decent amount of gold on her. Uh, I could carry some stuff. That's worth a bit. It's worth a decent amount. Ooh, I don't like the look of that. Um, it's like a deficient healing, but... Hopefully I can... Oh, I should probably put my helmet back on. That would help a little bit. Ooh. Bolden's great sword. I was about to say, I gotta be careful of that. Swing speed's gonna be pretty fast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have prioritized the... I don't have time for all these wolves. Can I just put myself where the wolves can't get me? I just want my stamina to go back up. Really, wolves? You're gonna be this useless to me? Okay. I am just gonna take this guy out because he's starting to annoy me. Efficient healing. Damn stamina. Shit. Now he's coming back in here. I'm using up all my stamina potions. Luckily, I can just kite him around this table. Show me what you got. Show me what you're working with. Be hard to punish those swings. I think you know what? I just take one. There we go. Let's say. Luckily, it's a nice thing about great swords. Sure, they're fast, but you can just pretty much take tank their swings and heavy armor since they've got like no armor penetration. Unless it is a Daedric great sword, that'd be a little bit of a different story. Um, treasure map. This is the one at Gallows Rock? Is that the name of it? I don't know. It's part of the Companions quest line. Elven Shield. It'd be nice if I was doing evasion, but that I am not. Uh, let's see. Staff of Icewind. Okay, not that useful. Mage Armor 3. 
Um, some tomato soup. I don't really need any more bolts. I already looted you. I wonder if I could take on a frost troll by myself. I wonder if... I mean, this was probably the... Oh, shit. Please don't tell me that broke my... Okay, good, it didn't. Took unnecessary damage, though. Just a uh, healing poultice, blue mountain flower combo. Good enough. It's probably the frost troll from this little enclosure over here. It's usually like a bear or frost troll up here. This is, yeah, an adept lock. here maybe closer to this maybe not is it closer this way okay no it's not it's more up probably like right here more this way maybe maybe a little higher up right about there yeah there we go oh hey there we go take those Take those all day. Warrior one-handed. One-handed is a uh, getting close. Getting close. Need uh need fifty one-handed really bad. Start getting those perks. Um, what level? I think uh one-handed's over here. I know this one cars twenty-five. I wonder what the second one costs. I wonder if it's fifty. Because the attack speed buffs are going to be really big for the maces. I remember when I was testing some maces with the speed boost. You could do like a, a double hit and then a power attack. You get three hits basically out really fast. And it does some serious damage. Uh, rock Warbler Egg. Use that instead this time. Uh, troll fat or just poison? Just for the sake of not having to walk so far. Oh, apparently I can't fast travel. Can't wait right now either. Wonder why not. Wonder if there's an enemy nearby. It's possible. Ooh, you know what? I mean, I'm a Nord, so I probably don't really need it. But I totally forgot that I'm a uh, heavy armor user. I could go get the Helm of Ingol. But I don't know if I can kill Ingol. Um, he'd probably be immune to that. I don't know if the silver katana would be enough. So I'm sure as hell not going to be using the bouncer or the lunar steel mace. Um, we could give it a shot and see. Only one way to find out, I suppose. Oh, is that a Vigilant? I thought that was a guard for a second. I was like, why are you out here? Frost Troll down there. Oh, interesting. Some skeletons out and about. Luckily I had my silver sword on me. Too bad I'm not a murderer. I could just murder one of those... Uh... Another Frost Troll. A lot of Frost Trolls around. Just murder one of those Vigilants and get one of their swords be a bit better for what I'm trying to do. I thought it was right around here. In Gaul's Barrow. I don't think it's like all the way up over here. Um, but since I'm already in this area, I might as well... Hopefully that Frost Troll leaves my horse alone. 
I gotta be careful not to use all my stamina. Oh, it's just a stupid... Whatever they're called, slaughterfish. The fact that he's got magic. Oh, that's nice. Just like clipping through the fucking rock right there. Or ice, I guess I should say. efficient healing. So I guess he just had a scroll is all it was. Oh shit. I fucking hate stamina management right now. This heavy armor is really frustrating. But at least I'm not dying, so. Oh, I thought I already loaded this. But I guess not. Oh, hello. That was an interesting shot. I watched it, like, fly right into my face. Okay. Taking more damage than I'd like to from these. What scrolls did I have again? Scroll of Skeletal Hero. Try that. Oh, hey. Took out one dude for me. Oh. He's putting in work. Oh, is that all of them? Sweet. Expended all my stamina. Wait. Return to Kajar? Who? Huh? Wait, what? What was that about? Oh, that's weird. I don't know what that quest's about. Interesting. Um, I'm starting to wonder, there's only the one chest in the other bandit camp that I did earlier, I think. I don't think there's another one. I don't want to go double check though. I think there's two chests here. We needed to clear this out anyways for... Isn't this where... My dude's... No, his thing's up here. But there is something else here for someone else. I can't remember. It's very descriptive. I know. Um, oh, there's this. Four insights, not bad. Stamina potion, that's even better. <laughs> At this point, just about is. Okay, and then there's the chest up. Or maybe it's underwater? I know there's another chest here somewhere. I thought it was just on the bottom deck in here. Uh, oh, here it is. Ooh, it's an expert lock. Well, uh, lucky for us, we've come prepared. So it's probably not on this side. I'm just gonna double check right here real fast, okay. Aha, uh -huh. getting closer. Okay. A little more this way. Ooh, okay, I was getting a little closer. 
I think it's like right here. Hmm, I don't know if it's more this way or this way. Uh, I don't know. Right there? It's really close. I think it's right. Ah! This is frustrating because it's not like on where the little tiles are on the sides. So it's hard to guess where I just was exactly. Ah, it's like right somewhere around there. Damn it. I'm trying to react to. There we go. 126 gold. That was so worth it. Hey, though, we're only like a couple hundred gold away from our gold, though, so. Our gold goal. So I think I have to, like, start another quest for the book to be here. I don't think that's true, though. I swear there was another chest under here that had, like, a book in it or something. Or something to bring back to somebody. It's part of a stupid fetch quest. I know that much. I know I'm not crazy. Oh, you know what? It is the pride of Telvas wreck. So I am crazy. Alright. Let's go ahead and level up. Get my health. Um, I sure... I don't know if I should go ahead and take Flurry. Or if I should hold out to get... Powerful Charge. Actually, realistically, Powerful Charge is not that great anyways. For one-handed, I feel like. I mean, it's good, but it's not anything spectacular. It's best for two-handed. Okay, so cool. That is a 50 perk. Uh, that feels a little better. Maybe when my stamina is actually not drained, it'll be better. Um, this is going to be stupid, but I'm going to call my horse into here. There we go. Alright. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot that that thing is here. Um, I want no part of that. Excuse my immersion breaking right now. But I want no no part of that. I want absolutely no part of that, please. You're scaring the bejesus out of me right now. Okay, there's the exit for Ingall's Barrow. Where's the fucking entrance? I don't remember it being this complicated to find. Oh, there we go. I should remember that it was closer to the water. I'm a little worried about this dungeon. Um, I think I'll probably use my frost resistance potion. Because like, there's only one enemy in here. And it's Engal himself. Um, probably not that well prepared. Oh, I wish I had a fortify health. I don't want to use my fortify stamina. Remarkable. Where did my horse go? God damn it. Can't remember if I had anything on him. Potion wise. Fortify health. Uh, uh let's use the good one. Sure. That'll be good. Alright, only slightly nervous. I'm excited for this helmet, though, because this helmet just looks badass. I mean, the frost resistance that I'll get from this helmet will be enough, I think. I think it's 30%. So that'll get me to cap on frost resistance. No, that's not the right way. Stupid fucking fly in my house, flying around my nose. Okay. This this was definitely one of the more unique uh, puzzle quests. I feel like this one was. I feel like this one was really well done. The other ones where it's just like, hey, here's a picture of a bird, so it it must be a bird. 
That's stupid. That one was that one was fucking clever. Um, let's look at this real quick. Where is it at? It's the coral dragon claw. Okay. Um, snake wolf moth. Snake wolf moth. Ah, oh, so close. Got it. Hey. Always check your burial urns. I've found a plethora of insights in burial urns. Um, you know what's funny? I remember doing this uh, dungeon with uh, my previous character around the same level of one-handed just to get enough uh, skill ups for my one handed to go take on the the shipwreck. I did it backwards with this character, but this character is a whole different beast. Um, is there anything over this way? I don't think so. At least I can get into here and open this chest this time around. Granted, I don't run out of lockpicks. <laughs> Okay, so right around here, maybe it's on top of the circle. Okay, no, so it's the other way. Maybe more so this way. Yeah, I really love the lock picking interface. Oh, ho, ho, what was I saying? What was I saying? Gotta check those burial urns. I'm glad I got that one on, <laughs> on the video. As I'm talking about doing it. Oops. Uh, that's not... Buttons. Uh... Oh! Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack just happened. Forgot that that was there. Like, the, I always forget that one's there. I barely remembered it last time. But... Luckily, I was going through the slow motion menus, but I was scared because I was doing the continuous run. Glad I didn't do, like, sprint. I would have definitely ran into that. Alright. There we go. Okay. Getting insight friendly in this dungeon. So, I believe I will definitely be able to get to level 50 one-handed after this dungeon. Oh, I'm only 18 gold away from getting that next armor rating. That's like an extra 100 armor rating. That's like almost worth just going to grab fucking 18 gold real fast. Uh, what's my armor rating at right now anyways? Um, we're at 1168. I think it put me at like 1268 or it gives me like another 150. I can't remember. Uh, do I remember what it was? It was Snake Wolf... Snake Wolf Hawk? Snake Wolf, yeah, because I think it's 112. Yeah, Moth, not Hawk. Okay. Okay, so I think we take Frost Resistance Potion to be safe. Uh, I think we go in there and pop a Stamina Potion, just so it like automatically is like regening. Uh, fortify health I'm definitely taking. Um, I think I already have a healing poultice going. I do. Okay. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. I was kind of hoping it'd be a frost shout.
All right, we got this. Let's go. <laughs> I only need 10 gold. <laughs> Damn it. Whew. That was a little nerve-wracking. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And some... Like, enchanted bones. Uh, some good two-handed weapons I've gotten on this character so far. A bunch of elven stuff. Let's see what we got. Seven. Four. Ooh. Major archery. It's not bad, but... It's not great. So insights are good. So that's 110. These are 94. But I get extra damage with my crossbow, which, once again, it's not really what I'm going for. So 53 to 64 for 10 less armor rating. But they're better looking gauntlets. Tempting. So this has 141. And this has 130. Ah, take an armor uh, degrading. I actually don't know if the damage boost on the gauntlet or the. Eh, I mean, it's such a minuscule amount of armor rating on those. It's not going to make a huge difference. At least the. Uh, I can't bash adept yet. I can! Fortify carry weight. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> Ironic enough that the fortify carry weight sets me over. So I can put you in there. That that one's kind of sad that Angal's helmet is so weak for armor rating. kind of wish it was a little better because it's just a 30% frost resistance. It's nothing crazy. But that does put me at cap for frost resistance. And I could say, like, oh, well, I wasted my frost resistance potion, but did I really? Because I don't need it anymore now. I'm already at cap frost resistance. Um, warrior skill. One-handed to 50. Uh, now I need to determine what skill I need to work on next. Uh, so one-handed to 50 was big. Heavy armor to 50 would be awesome. I mean, block is kind of useless mostly for me right now. But at the same time, I'm not really needing it too much. It's going to be more prevalent when I'm fighting dragons. So when I'm having to get up close and personal, if I have to block a bite attack, it's going to be really handy. Um, alchemy would be pretty big. Alteration is going to be important to go into. As far as my combat skills, though, heavy armor is going to really help get me to the point of being able to fucking move. Um, I think I should probably go alchemy right now, just so I can start making fucking recuperation potions. I think if I can just get to 25 and get, like, the first two perks, that would help out a lot. Oh, that's gonna be big right there. Let's see how fast we can swing now. Oh, yeah. That's, like... That's almost non-perked sword swing speed. Okay, so I could... Yeah, I'll get this next mace focus eventually. But I think I'm probably going to be done perking one-handed for a little bit. It should be good enough for now. I just need to get better weapons um, sooner than later. Boy, I'll tell you what. The moment I think I can take on Vigilant Tyrannus. You already know. Um, okay, so... I'm going to need two perk points. So my next two perk points probably need to go into Alchemy. Once I get Alchemy to 25, I think it's time to start focusing on getting... Heavy Armor to, to 55. Because this will give me some additional stamina. Which is important. And then after getting... See, I don't know when to really focus on block. It's just kind of there right now. It's almost kind of useless as of right now. I know it'll get better later when I need to start blocking attacks. Um, but I think getting heavy armor to 55 will be important. And then after that, focusing on alteration and then getting alchemy to 50. And once I got those two to 50 right there, I think then I can focus on block and smithing and one-handed getting up to 75. 
All right, so that's kind of like my my game plan. Oh, we got a lot of shit done. I still can't wait. Oh, well, this horker's kind of mad at me. There we go. Look at that. Can I wait now? Okay, I can. So now I can fast travel over to... I'm going to fast travel home real quick and find out who it is that I need to go see. This is kind of interesting. I don't know what this is about. It's probably a quest that I picked up that I just forgot about. Wants me to go talk to some dude over here? Is this gonna be like a roleplay moment? Nice fucking mesh, guys. Why why am I not okay? That was interesting to say the least. Um What? Sorry, but I'm not looking to hire any more crew right now. Your old crew member has been taken care of. I've never had this quest before in my life. Here's your pay. Yes. Hey. I don't know what that quest is about. But now I know for the future that that's what I'm doing. Damn, thousand gold. You know what that means. I got my shit. Now my armor rating's 1241. Not freaking bad at all. It would be 1250 with the helmet, but that's okay. Oh yeah, need to drink those. Um, alchemy. Don't give me the. Oh, I just put that point into smithing by accident. Just when I was about to say, don't give me the alchemy twenty-one. Right. Oh well, I'm eventually gonna go into smithing, so it's not like it was a complete waste. Uh, I guess I can just go up to Windhelm this way. That was a little silly though. Uh, do I have the Helm of Engol favorited? I do not. I do. I'm just stupid and blind. But it's just, it's such a cool fucking helmet. I just want to leave it on. I'm probably just gonna. Hi, lady. Would you like to buy some flowers, please? Uh, of much, course. But I hope you like them. Um, I'll take a Jesus Christ, ten gold for a little fucking flower. I drive a hard bargain. Oh, I got the new... I forgot I added this. The new texture and mesh overhaul for the Mountain Flowers Cathedral, I think is what it was called. Thanks. Those look really nice. I need to go look at the Mountain Flowers in the wild. I forgot to even, like, double-check those. It looks really good. I always check the Nexus, like, every week or so. Just see what new mods come out, and I love when I see new... Updated texture mods. I'm like, oop, grabbing that, throwing that in there. Eventually just gonna have this insane compiled list of textures. Um uh, hear that boar up there. Okay, I gotta go brawl some person. I think they're a person in the inn. That's probably why it's taking me to Candle Hearth Hall with the quest marker. I usually don't play with quest markers on, but as of late, since I've like just been getting so many quests at once, I like to keep it on so I don't forget things as I'm traveling. What do you need? God, you are strange looking. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Sure about that? The badass chick, covered in freaking plate armor. With a massive breastplate. Oh, that field of view is wild. Fine. I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Ugh. Where am I going? Return to Farkas. Okay. We'll do. Um, is there anything else to do in this area? There is I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Eventually. 
once I get up to College of Winterhold. I would like to do this soon. Because there's stuff in that area I would like to buy. Um, eventually and eventually. I'll, I'll keep this one on. Um, maybe I should go take care of Crags Lane. I, I know what other quest I should pick up while I'm here. Well, I know what other two things I should do while I'm here at least. Three things, actually. I can go ahead and pick up the white file. Even though it'll be a while before I do that one. Ooh, I want to look at these. Wow, that looks so freaking nice. Almost too nice for Skyrim. Damn. Those look good. I think, uh... I think that's going to be my freaking screenshot right there. That's just beautiful. Um, where am I going? I think I'm going this way. Getting turned around. Then it's true. What is everyone is saying? Can I just Ventus Artina doing the black sacrament? Yeah. Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Talk to Aventus Arentino. Ooh, it's dark in here. What are you doing, Aventus? I saw you running up here. Come at last! It worked! I did the black sacrament. Oh, you don't have to say anything. The dialogue that everybody's probably experienced more than anything in Skyrim. I ran away and came home and performed the black sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grawl of Kind. I didn't know if I hit X, it would tell me the time and the... I mean, I knew that dialogue menu. I don't know what that's a part of. Take this as payment. More HUD, maybe? Oh, that's interesting. Pretty valuable. It should fetch you a nice price. Uh, there's some frost salts with a nice. Oh God. The nice texture. I can't remember which the name of the mod is. Jesus Christ! If I could pick it up. And then there's usually some goodies in here. Wheat. Uh, one more thing to do in Windhelm. Two more things, I guess. But I always, I should always check the blacksmiths and the general merchants for enchanted gear. But also yeah, just to see what weapons he has. Honest. Getting Take tired of this orcish mace. Uh, I say that, and then he's got a Dwarven Mace for sale. I don't know if I want a Dwarven Mace. They swing so damn slow, but with my perks, it might make it not so bad. Um, ooh, I thought I almost bought it by accident. Um, Mace. Uh, Iron Mace of Souls. Uh, Dwarven Mace. Honestly, I think I'll pass on it just because I can go to a Dwarven Ruin and find these easily. The only problem is the weapons I have to take on a Dwarven Ruin would be absolute shit. Um, Dwarven Shield of Blocking. Now, that... That would be a nice shield. Just don't... Uh, it's not that bad of a texture to the price. Uh I know I'm going to be spending some gold here soon, so I don't quite know. It's going to be a while before I get my in-game shield, but if I found a shield that had MR on it or fire resistance, I would definitely kick myself in the butt for purchasing this, so I think I'll wait on it. Oh, but I probably have some. Oh, wait. Before I sell you shit. I do have my Amulet of Zenithar on, right? Okay, I do. Is... My chick not warming her hands? If she's not, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Her mirrors become a beast. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Steel arrows. Because I'm a pin cushion, apparently. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and sell a Nordic helmet. 
Uh, skilled boots of hauling. He's already out of fucking gold, apparently. It's like they're telling me to buy that shield. I don't haggle. If you want to lower, some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Staff of ice wind, boots of hauling, and there's all your gold. Let's see what you got though. Recuperation, fair. I will take it. Peerless sneaking. I think she always has that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure anybody just has any peerless item has always got it. Uh, which means you can buy more shit. Uh, I don't want Mage Armor 3. Um, transmute Muscles. Eh. Eh. So, I'll, yeah, sure I'll use it, I guess. Maybe. Clairvoyance. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need that. Uh, ooh. You had just enough gold. Sweet. Thank you for your custom. Thank you for your custom. I'll be fine. Oh, I forgot to talk to Home Gold about something. So club, just a man's life work is all. That's it. Find you would. It's better. You're all look please don't, don't dally don't dilly dally i've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant. the only thing about this particular character build is it's going to be a, a decent while before i really take on undead because there's no steel i mean there's no silver mace um with my swords in their hands Ulfric's men will send those legion dogs running. Uh, there we go. Of course, uh, but uh, with their, without a silver mace, the only thing I'm gonna have are like the silver swords, and then oh, lost knife hideout. Where's lost knife again? Oh, that's not the one I want. Lost knife is over here. I remember doing that one. For something. Oh well, that's fine. I think that's something I can take on here in a bit. I mean, not in this episode, of course, but eventually. Uh, I want to take on Crags Lane. That's actually a bit further south than I remember, but that's okay. I'll just take my horse down. Um, that's probably what I'll do to finish this episode, is go down to Crags Lane, and then we'll go over to Falkreath and start some quests over there. Or purchase some stuff over there. I don't know if we have any quests in Falkreath to worry about. God damn, those flowers. And the... the 3D snowberries. Look at that eating up all my all my frames. I think that's everything I needed to do here. I just gotta keep in mind next time I sleep I'm gonna be kidnapped. I don't want to be kidnapped until after I go to Falkreath. After I go to Falkreath I can be kidnapped and that's okay so I might go to Falkreath and then do a little bandit quest for Jarl Sidgear and then take a little nappy nap. Or I could take a little nappy nap, then go to Falkreath. That actually might be a better idea, because then I can go ahead and destroy the Dark Brotherhood and get my 3,000 gold. Oh, I had some more shit I could sell, but eh. My care weight's at 170. Where's my horse? There's my horse. Let's go, my horse. It's right off into the sunset frost. This game looks amazing. It does not look from 2011. It also does not look like the Skyrim I remember playing on Xbox 360 when it came out in 2011. So my uh, my love with the Elder Scrolls series actually did start with Skyrim. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, I was never introduced to the Elder Scrolls until Skyrim, because my best friends at the time, were, they played Oblivion. I don't think they played Morrowind, but they played Oblivion, and they loved Oblivion. They're like, oh, Skyrim's coming out. And I'm like, what's a Skyrim? 
no idea what it was. I watched them play it and I was like, yo, this game looks like hella fun. And uh, I went and got it like a couple days later. And first time playing, I played it as an Argonian. And I don't remember really what kind of build I played. I think I played like Sword and Shield. Or I might have done a... I don't think I started Sneak Archer. But I think I did like Sword and Shield and did some magic. So it's more like a spell sword. But man, the, the good old days of just opening up Sky. I remember like I just found some like random staff and I was like posting on Facebook back then. So it was like high school when I was actually on Facebook. I was like, yo. So my friend, I was like, I found this staff of whatever. He was like, yeah, there's stabs everywhere, dude. And I was like, but this is sick. <laughs> Never really played games like this before. Okay, it's up here somewheres. Right up over this way. You stupid wolf. Oh, did I bounce him? I think I bounced him too. That's pretty funny. Um, he went fucking flying. Alright, horse. Stay safe. I'm gonna just quick save here just in case my horse dies or some bullshit happens. Uh, oh, my shield wasn't equipped. Sweet. Was I not factoring my shield into my armor rating earlier? No, I was. I was about to say damn if I wasn't. Still, 1250 is pretty good. It's a 100 and... 25% damage reduction, so whatever armor penetration they have has to be pretty significant to get through. Oh my god. He's a bouncer, and this is the bouncer. Oops, took something I didn't want. So, my swing speed is awesome, but my stamina consumption is still freaking ass. Because there's a handful of enemies in here, and sure they're not hard, but I know stamina is going to be an issue. Um, I do have a soup going, right? Yeah, apple cabbage. Oh, my fortify health is going for another 54 seconds. What's my health at? 235. Uh, well, I'm not gonna. Not gonna get to keep that buff going for the whole time I'm here. This might actually hurt me for. I just gotta be careful with my stamina. I probably shouldn't do this, but. Okay. Got it before they came in. You don't have a chance. Damn it. Why does that take up so much stamina? I don't understand. Oh my gosh. I know there's another dude in here that's like actually decently strong. So <laughs> dude, you were like low on stamina. That was the slowest friggin' swing I've ever seen. Just make sure when you do this uh, area, you uh, loot the barkeep because he's got the key for an expert lock chest. Unless you can pick expert locks like me, like moi. Hey, I got my archery boosting mittens on, so I want to get my archery damage. Wait, is there not another dude in here that was, like, actually strong? I could have sworn there was. Did I really just miss the wolf that was standing still? Ah, there is a dude in here that's decently strong. There he is. 
the butcher. We've got to be careful. I not have armor penetration, but he's still got a dwarven weapon. Okay. This I should have brought the fucking lunar mace. Oh, this is a great idea. Tell you what, I'll stand right here until you can figure out how to get to me. Oh, that was a little scary. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. It's kind of scared he might have like thrown up a uh, 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 like drank some alcohol or something. Got his health back. This happened to me many a times and almost killed me. Or they quickly drink alcohol and I'm like thinking of getting the finishing blow and then all of a sudden they just barely survive it. And I've done used all my fucking stamina and now here they are wailing on me with a two-handed weapon. It's going to be funny because I'm going to go up to the Jarl and be like, oh, yep, I stopped the, the, the rug dealing. The rug dealing uh, skooma dealers, but uh, then I'm gonna go to Riften and I'm gonna sell it to all the Khajiits <laughs> out front. Uh, did I, yeah, I picked up a plate. I don't need a plate. Is that the only chest in here? I think so. No, it's not actually. I remember there was one over here. Haha. -ha. Wolf Queen. Not sure why that's a lockpicking book. I'm sure it makes sense if I actually read the book, but ain't nobody got time for that. But a uneventful chest. No coin purse or anything back here. I go with that. 22-14, or something teen. I don't know. Looks good to me. Take one of these like bajillion healing poultices that I have. Uh, no, not mage skills. I know I'm walking into the wall right now. It's okay. Uh, I think if I, yeah, had I not fucked up putting a point into smithing, I would have had 25 alchemy right now. But it doesn't matter because I don't have any perk points to actually put into alchemy. Because now I have to put the next two perk points into alchemy. And I still need to put one, two, three, four perks into alteration once it gets to 50. Okay, so we're almost at the hour mark for this episode so we'll go ahead and turn this in and then depending on how much time that takes i might just go ahead and travel to falkreath so we can go ahead and start the next episode in falkreath rather than starting in riften and then traveling to falkreath and then doing a bunch of boring shit i need to take another youtuber's advice watching his playthrough. He says I should leave whatever is about to be interesting for the start of the next episode so the beginning's not boring. So it actually makes you want to watch it. What can I do for you? Well, allow me to present you with this compensation for your Hunting bow sacrifice. of embers. How fucking useless. Beyond useless. Okay, so alchemy is 25, so that means the next thing I need to focus on is, is heavy armor, for sure. Probably go between heavy armor and alteration until heavy armor is 50, then I'll probably go like in between alteration and block, and then once block's like 45, ooh, 60 would be nice. 60 would be nice for dragons. 45 will be good for blocking damage, but 60 would be really nice for dragons. But at the same time, it's like way too many fucking perks. So I think I'll just get blocked to 45, let it hang there for a bit, and then start working on alchemy to 50 as well. Because th those two skills are going to cap out at 50. And then I can eventually start working on one-handed and smithing again, and heavy armor to... Oh, heavy armor needs to go to 55, not 50. But... All right, cool. Uh, I was gonna talk Did to you. No. I should have gotten her quest before. 
I can't remember. Someone act... My experimentation involves a magical con... A Putting aside, Rolf. Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent. Hold on. Her, uh... And I'm sure you've her you dialogue is pretty yeah. funny. I went through it on now my previous playthroughs, so... Wait. Yes, uh, Oh, I didn't even need to go through all that. You can Just give me your fetch quest. Me and I'll be happy to well, I should have grabbed this first because I think oh, right. the majority of these are places no, are. I've already been recently. Yeah, like one's in Windhelm, one's in Winterhold, the other's in Iverstead. Damn. Uh, that really sucks. I think that might be like the one thing I do off camera. Just because that's really shitty. Oh, I forgot to check with her to sell her shit. Oh, that was trippy. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. I was like, wait. Looks like that's it. Why am I getting a note? It's because they know. We know. All right, let's go ahead and sell as much shit as we can over here. Please, please, I need. Oh. Thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. What brings you to Balaman today? Rip. Take a I've, look. I've come here to teach you how to use a shovel properly. Um, I'm starting to think I should have grabbed that dwarven mace. Firewalker sure would be nice. Almost tempted to go ahead and buy it, but I don't need it yet because I'm not fighting dragons yet. Once I'm fighting dragons, it be a completely different story. But if I do get, like, into a dungeon there's a fire mage, this would be really handy. Because as far as the necklace I'm wearing right now, it's not that useful. Hmm. I need to get more gold, though. <sighs> but then I could sell a good amount of my gems to him. I could sell the rest of my gems. so conflicted there's so many good items to buy 50 percent fire resistance he's huge it's freaking huge Ooh, nordic gauntlets those are nice but he always has that so i can always come back also sell him gems everything i've got on display really safe travels land strider New around Riften? Sorry, Branch, I haven't found your past yet. Just what you see here. Why is this only worth three gold? I feel like that should be worth a lot more gold. Uh, weakness to magic, that's... Pretty fucking useless to Anything me. You can find would be of great help. Yeah, I'm working on it. You gonna buy something? Or nope. Just what you see here. Just here to sell you shit. Cause all you have is that for me. Bunch of useless shit. Mm -hmm. 139 gold. You actually have a decent amount of gold. Uh, paralysis could be useful. Fortify block. Eh. Eh. Ocean of Magicka, eh. Those could be useful. Yeah, we're still only at 22, 697. Also need to get to Markarth for Calselmo's love interest. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, I know I, I talk about not doing stuff off camera, but just because it's stuff that I like really should have done. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save here so I don't forget again. But since it's stuff I should have done, or I should have gotten that quest before, I think I'm just gonna go ahead off camera, uh, run and grab those two items, one from Iverstead, one from uh, Windhelm. And then uh, from Windhelm, I'll just take the carriage over to Falkreath, and then I'll just like start the next episode right when I get off the carriage. But that'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.